I thought I'd show you the uh, the GPS, the, what these curves are like. It's pretty cool. We'll call it like our little mini Tale of the Dragon. It's fun. It's short, uh, but it's a blast. So. Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're well. I'm getting ready to take off on the May 2022 adventure which is going to be southwestern united states california arizona for sure um maybe some other states we'll see uh, i'm gonna have a different approach uh this trip and uh it's probably better if we just get on the road feel like i haven't uh, shared anything for quite a while so there's lots to dish i feel like i've uh, missed this experience and sharing things with you guys so uh we're going to jump back in it, but I'll explain how this is going to work on the road. And uh, that way you don't have to look at me standing here. It can uh, I'll talk over some of the scenery. Uh, a little bit of an auspicious start this morning. It, it rained in San Diego, which almost never happens. I don't know if you can see the, the cloud cover we've got, but uh, anyway, uh, so it goes. We'll persevere and move on. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about what's going on. Once we hit the road, we're going to make our way towards Joshua Tree from pretty much downtown San Diego. So uh, let's get to it. I'll see you out there. So yeah, this is exciting. The Garmin has taken over with adventure mode and it's routing us on some pretty cool roads. Uh, I know this road, it's Wildcat Canyon, pretty well known to motorcyclists in San Diego. It's in the Barona Reservation. Uh, it's well known for its twisties. Apparently road work. Time will tell. Yeah, strange. I checked weather all over deciding whether to do this trip in the southwest or back to Baja and the weather looked okay so I decided to go for the southwest and this morning it was raining in San Diego of all places where it never rains. So it goes. We've ridden out of that. Uh, we're heading into a little higher elevation. It's still May gray, kind of cloudy, but it stopped sprinkling so I could bust the camera out. I'm really excited for this trip. We've got a uh, couple weeks to just see what happens. Uh, been watching Charlie Sinoan on uh, YouTube a lot during this little break from our last adventure and I like his approach. The plan is there is no plan because the director, he calls it, whether that's fate or God, depending on your point of view, will say God has a plan and uh, he laughs at yours, so we'll uh, roll with it. We'll uh, plan out the routes a, a day in advance based on accommodations. Uh, you just have to know there's some place to stay when you got all these vast distances in the desert. I don't think it's very smart just to head out and see what happens when if uh, one place is full the next could be uh, three hours away so we'll roll with it and see what happens i'm excited though uh really got some good plans today uh, we are headed to joshua tree and we're going to make some stops along the way and we're letting the garmin zumo xt adventure mode guide us to our stops which should be really exciting. Uh, we got a lot, I got a lot planned. I've uh, researched maybe a hundred stops. I've just been really diligently searching like top sites in Arizona, neighboring states, New Mexico, Utah, just Nevada. Uh, done a lot of research on a lot of the places that are around and it's just to we'll map out uh, what's a nice full day's ride what can we encompass each day and we'll just uh, wing it make it happen as we go uh, plan out the next day and uh, hit as many sites as we can see and see as much varied terrain as we can so that'll be exciting I've packed really light for this trip so that's another thing We've gone with uh, some underlayers, some water wicking, quick drying, t-shirts, that kind of thing, just to, we're gonna be doing laundry on the road, so we wanna be able to keep cool 
aside from today it's cold I had to put the liner back in my jacket and uh, I think it's gonna be a grand adventure so stay tuned there's the Barona Casino right up there looks like we might be getting a little sprinkles again so I'm gonna sign off for now we'll talk more in a bit I know I keep going on about this and we're we're early into the day's ride but this is so cool that the Garmin plots you on this adventure mode I've never been on this road this road is the old Julian Highway never been on this it looks really cool it's just I didn't even know this was back here I've always taken sort of the it's an it's the old highway but it's sort of the main route through this area and uh, I am really loving this adventure mode uh, it doesn't seem to take any more time it just takes you on all these different uh, routes and uh, kudos to Garmin for a motorcycle specific adventure mode GPS loving it anyway I just wanted to share it's uh, really interesting to be way off the beaten path kind of digging it So yeah, like I said, we have a couple of weeks and I've got some family obligations in there. My daughter lives in the suburbs of Phoenix, so eventually we'll work our way there. Uh, hopefully hit the southern end of the state as well and work our way back up. And I'm going to meet my wife in Phoenix in a couple weeks. So uh, we'll see what happens. As always, just like today's weather, didn't anticipate rain in San Diego, but here it is and we're getting through it just fine it seems to come and go okay we've made a little stop here on highway 79 before we jump into the mountains which are over here but are completely covered in uh, misty rain which we've been dealing with we haven't filmed much it's been uh, sprinkling a little more but it's a historical marker here uh, you can see there uh, this used to be a pretty well-known stagecoach stop in the olden days. Now it's a little bit of ruins, but hey, what the heck. Um, over here is an old barn and that. Uh, we'll go take a look at that in a second. But hey, these are the things that you see on the old highway network, right? Uh, old stagecoach stops. You don't see that on the freeway. So uh, we'll walk over here and take a look at uh, what used to be the barn and stables. It's all collapsed now, but we'll take a look. Here's some more of it. What used to be, I guess. Hey, you never know what you're gonna come across. I've driven past this a ton of times and never stopped and always wanted to kind of stop and check it out. And now I have. All right, that was interesting. Uh, I had to put the cameras away again because it got really misty, rainy, uh, low visibility. The camera was getting wet. My face shield was uh, covered with water. And uh, we made the crest of the mountain into Anza a few miles back and it just cleared up, uh, totally cleared up. We're here at uh, Paradise Valley Cafe which is at the intersection of uh, Highway 74, Scenic Highway, that's Pines to Palms. It goes from Hemet all the way around by Idlewild and ends and drops down into Palm Desert, which is where we're headed from here. We're gonna turn right, go this way down into Palm Desert. And uh, what we were on is back here, Scenic Highway 371. I feel bad I didn't get to film much of it, but uh, honestly, that whole section 79 and 371 deserves its own video. So in the end, that's probably okay. And we've got quite a bit to do today, but this is a really nice stop when you're up in the mountains here. And uh, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. So let's do that. All right, here's our meal at the Paradise Valley Cafe. Look at that, that's pretty good. Here's a look around this place. Nice. Hell of a stop. I'm going to dig in. Okay. The sun's out. It's kind of windy up here, but uh, we're at the top of the mountain. Uh, we 
past Anza, we're in Paradise Valley, and we're now on the 74, the Pines to Palms Highway. Uh, we got a few miles here at the tail end of it. We're more towards the palm size, side than the uh, pine side, but uh, it's beautiful up here in these mountains, and then we'll drop down in a, what my friends and I like to call the mini tail of the dragon, uh, a real curvy descend down into the valley, Palm Springs, Palm Desert area, which is always a good time. And there's a nice scenic overlook there that uh, we'll stop at and take a look. Okay, pretty cool view here. We're now on the uh, eastern side of the mountains. So it's become much more desert-like. Um, we've begun our descent kind of towards the valley. The desert valleys where Palm Desert and Palm Springs are. We're not really to the real curvy parts with the overlook. It's pretty windy today, but it's a really nice uh, stretch of road, so I thought I'd share just a little bit with you. Hopefully uh, the wind isn't too bad at the scenic overlook so that we can take some video there. Wow. Just beautiful. And the desert's laid out below there. Oh, here's the uh, scenic viewpoint see how crazy it is a lot of cars today not bad let's take a look all right I thought I'd show you the uh, the GPS the what these curves are like it's pretty cool we'll call it like our little mini tail of the dragon it's fun it's short uh, but it's see, a blast take a look so, you can see some of it goes over there just weaves its way around it's pretty cool and then you can see palm desert palm springs is off to the side sort of on the other side of that hill um, but this is the desert communities start very cool there's my little bike labura okay we'll film some of this mini tail of the dragon as we call it <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, but it's a fun, fun, fun twisty section that drops you out of the mountains and just love it every time we ride this route. Look at these turns. You can actually see the road uh, down below you. Okay, we're driving through Palm Desert now. Thought I'd give you a little lay of the land in the city here. We're, I don't think we're gonna have too many big cities uh, for the rest of our trip. And I, this, I know this all looks very similar. This Palm Desert, Palm Springs, it's all very flat. It all kind of looks the same, but it, it's cool to come from you know the coast where I live come up through the mountains all the pine trees and then you know here you are in the desert it's crazy but it's cool okay we've had to jump on the freeway just for a little bit sorry it's the only way to really get where we're going uh, I don't like it but it is very beautiful here, quite windy, like I said before, in the desert here. I thought I'd just share part of what this looks like. We're at what probably is one of our final stops today. We're out here in Chiriaco Summit at the General Patton Memorial Museum. You can see there. Quite a few tanks. Back here, military vehicles, kind of cool. 
Uh, I came out here. There's also fuel, which is nice. I don't think there's fuel. Our next stop is the south entrance of Joshua Tree. I don't think there's fuel there. Um, so we're going to get fuel here. Uh, let's go see if the museum's open. Okay, here we are with the statue of the big guy. Uh, this used to be a desert training center for tanks, I guess, which is why this is out here. I'm not really sure, honestly. It's pretty cool. You can go in the museum, but it's really dark in there, so uh, I'm not going to try to film in there. Uh, anyway, pretty cool little stop. My buddy Mark loves this place. I'm going to go inside again and... Uh, walk around a little bit if you ever make it out here i recommend you do too we'll talk to you soon well it's always something on these trips isn't it uh we almost had a situation uh i'm here working my way over to joshua tree which we'll do a whole separate episode on and uh something seemed a little funny so i quick pulled over and stopped and i was about to lose my chin mount i had to take it off and reattach it and i think uh i messed that up it's not the chin mount's fault but uh i have got to find some high quality 3m tape here and i don't think that's gonna happen around here uh, but i will find some so once we get to joshua tree we'll start a new episode so this is going to be it for today uh i hope today came together okay it was uh interesting day as it is sometimes with the weather this morning really uh cloudy cold and rainy in san diego and uh well that slowed us down a bit so we're getting later in the afternoon and it looks like maybe joshua tree i'm gonna have to film on a stationary camera in front of the bike until i get the chin mount fixed i'll probably have to go on the other side 29 palms area try to find a hardware tomorrow morning but uh, that's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're able. If you want to continue the journey, subscribe and you'll get notified when I post new content. Uh, should have quite a few episodes in this uh, 522 Southwest adventure. Uh, I'm excited for it. I hope uh, we see some interesting things that you find exciting. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. <music>